this is Katie. I just did a meetup right outside Nashville, Tennessee. And so anyone who came, thank you so much for coming. It was incredible. But I was just uh, about to leave and my car won't start. So <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So I have not AAA, but one of those roadside assistant things with my insurance. So I'm probably gonna have to call them because it might just be that my battery's dead or something. So. I had a lot of fun at the meetup, but now my car won't start. So, okay, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and tell you guys what's going on. I see you are calling from a mobile phone. Let's use it to find your exact location and submit your roadside request. Press one so I may send your smartphone a text link. Choose a location type. Choose a problem type. You are almost finished. Please provide your contact information. We would like to send you status updates while you wait for your service to arrive. Enter any notes that you would like to have passed along to our representative or to your assigned service provider. Thank you. We've collected all of the information necessary to process your request. Okay, so I'm waiting for my roadside assistance, but it is 93 degrees outside, so I'm going to wait. My meetup was at a park, and I have these, like, pavilions, I think they're called, so it's like picnic tables, but with they have like a roof on them. So I'm just gonna go sit there in the shade and wait for my roadside assistance to come. Okay, I got a text to give me the person's number who was assigned to me, but then also a link that gave me their ETA. And so I'm looking right now. I think they're at an accident right now or just someone else who needs assistance. And so when they're done with that, they are assigned to me. It just says current status assigned. So, I mean, I only got off the phone with them two minutes ago. So, we'll see how long it takes them. I understand they're busy, so like, I'm not in a rush. I'm just warm, so I'm gonna go sit under there, but I'm fine. I mean, I have some snacks in the car. There's a bathroom over here. It's like, I'm fine. Like, I don't have anywhere to be. It is Saturday afternoon, so it might take a little bit longer, but this kind of stuff happens. This kind of stuff happens even if you're not living in a car or traveling or anything like that. Like you're, sometimes your car just doesn't start or sometimes your car breaks down or sometimes your battery dies. So I'm not mad or anything. I'm just really warm. I'm gonna go <laughs> sit in the shade and uh, grab a bottle of water and uh, go chill out until someone gets here. I'm wearing my princess shoes. I love these shoes. Shadows are so weird. I'm like holding a bottle of water. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, the guy got here within like five minutes. Like he got here really, really quickly. But he was like, oh, you need gas. And I'm like, no, 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 I just got gas. Like a couple days ago and I haven't driven that much. And he's like, oh, then you might need a new fuel pump. And he had me do like a few things in my car. And he's like, yeah, I think you need a new fuel pump. And I'm like, it's not my battery. He's like, no. So I'm like, okay, do I need to get my car towed? He's like, yeah. So I have to call the insurance company back, the roadside assistance part and have them tow my car, which has never happened in my life. I've never ever had my car towed, ever. Have them get it towed and then get a new fuel pump. It's okay, I mean everything's fine, but. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I see that you have an open service request. To cancel, say or press one. Confirm ETA, two. Speak to an agent, zero. So I just called back. Now they are requesting a tow. It's not an ideal situation, but this is definitely why everyone should have roadside assistance. Even if you don't live in your car or you don't travel often, because you just kind of never know. The guy said that he has to call him back in about five minutes to give me like an update on the tow. So I actually might go move some stuff and see if there's anything super, super important back there because I'm probably gonna have to leave it there. But again, I'm staying at my friend's house so it's not the biggest deal. But if I wasn't staying at my friend's house, if I was just staying in my car and something like this happened, I would have just gotten a hotel for a couple days. That's just what I would have done. Like in an emergency like this, if they need to take my car, because they might have to have it overnight. It's already 4.30, so they might have to keep it until tomorrow, but tomorrow's Sunday, so they might have to keep it another couple days. But if I was not already staying at my friend's house or a family member's house or something, I just would have gotten a hotel. I know a lot of you guys are curious, like, oh, what if you have to have your car in the shop for a couple days? I have never, I've had my car for nine and a half years, and I have never 
had to get it towed and I've never had to have it stay in a dealership or in a shop or anything overnight. So this is the first time, but I'll keep you guys updated. It's about an hour after, a little over an hour after I uh, noticed that my car was broken down. And so I'm still waiting for a tow truck right now. I already called Toyota and they're like, well, our service department just closed and they're not opening till Monday. So I have to leave it and uh, it's gonna be weird to not have a car, but hopefully the tow truck gets here. They said that they would text me, but I haven't gotten a text yet. So hopefully I'll get that text soon. I'm not that far from David's. Like I could go back to David's, I could get an Uber. David could pick me up, he's working, but he could leave and pick me up. I do have some snacks, so like I'm fine. It's just really hot and I wanna be here when the car gets towed. So I'm just, just hanging out, waiting, <sighs> not ideal. But, uh, it's just, you know, just how life works sometimes. I just put my hair back because it's 90 degrees. It's about an hour and a half, almost two hours after I discovered that my car was dead and uh, the tow truck says estimate about an hour. And I know this has been a lot of like, oh, Katie's in mild distress or mild whatever. But like, all of this stuff combined, like, getting hacked and getting robbed and going on dates with someone who ends up being married and getting sick quite a few times in the last six weeks or so and just multiple other things added on. Maybe one individual thing does not seem like a lot, but when things are added and added and added and piled on top of each other, it just, especially someone with severe anxiety and you know different mental illnesses and different negative thoughts or characteristics or whatever in my brain it's just a lot it's a it's a real real lot right now and so I'm still just waiting on the tow truck but I'm still just gonna wait in the 90 degree heat again luckily I'm in the shade and I do have water and I have food so like I'm okay but my phone's about to die and I don't have a way to charge it because my car is broken Maybe able to turn the battery on and charge it a little bit, but then it's gonna be a million degrees in the car. So I, it's just, it's just a lot for me to deal with at the same time. And I know that certain people, especially maybe more mentally or emotionally healthy people might be able to handle this stuff fine. But for someone like me, all of this combined, like I understand that it's fine. I will be fine, my car will be fine, but it's just really starting to get to me. And it's just like, I'm just not having the best time. My meetup was super fun. Like the people who came were super fun. But all of this and dealing with this and everything on top of one another and I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know. My brain's not doing great right now, just to be straight up honest with you guys. But I'm gonna wait. The person on the phone said it should be within the half hour, but the text I got said an hour. So I don't know which is true. I'm just waiting. My car's just right, like right there and I'm in the shade, but it's still 90 degrees. So anyway, I will talk to you guys when I have an update. Okay, 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 okay. So they gave me a link to like check updates and whatever. And it looks like he's only maybe 10 minutes away. The tow truck person, he or she is only like 10 minutes away. So that's good. My phone's about to die, so that's good. And then uh, hopefully when I talked to the person on the phone, I asked if they would be able to just take me with them to the Toyota because that is much closer to where I'm staying than where I'm at right now. And they said, yeah, that's no problem. So I'm going to get in the tow truck with them. I know that some people don't think that's a safe. My mom is already nervous about it, but I'm fine about it. I'm totally, totally fine about it. And I am going to get to the Toyota and then I think David will be able to pick me up. But he, it's actually kind of cool. I can like see the car moving <laughs> like on this map that I have, which is really cool. So I called Toyota and they already told me what I had to do because it's after hours. And so they already told me what I had to do. And since it's Saturday night, they're not gonna be there tomorrow. So they'll be able to fix it hopefully Monday. But again, I'm just so overwhelmed. Like hopefully I'll be back at David's where I'm staying right now, staying at my friend David's house. Hopefully I'll be back there within the hour. And then honestly, I'm probably just gonna make dinner and watch TV and just calm down. Because again, I know that having to get your car towed is just something that most people have to go through, but I am not good with stuff like this. And especially this on top of everything else that's been going on, I am very anxious and stressed and just kind of 
I need to just kind of like zone out for a bit. Like I don't really know how to like calm down. I feel like being from Long Island and being Italian, we don't have that gene. I mean, I'm kind of just joking, but honestly, I don't really know how to calm down much, but doing something like watching TV and like searching makeup or something might at least distract me enough for right now that after a couple hours of that, I'll be able to be a little bit calmer perhaps because sometimes neutral distractions like watching TV or something are okay. I think he'll be here. Well, actually I'm like 10 minutes off the highway and he's about two exits away. So maybe 15 minutes he'll be here or she, whoever's driving the tow truck will be here. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I came back in my car to turn the battery on to charge my phone a little bit and I ate some tuna and the tow truck is here, I see them. It's six o'clock so I've been waiting for two hours, which is, I understand they're doing their job. It's not the most convenient for me but I understand. So tow truck is here, they literally just pulled in. So I'm gonna go deal with that and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. You taste freedom as you feel your lungs with air The time has stopped Your mind has set sail The road is home The stars will light the trail The stars will light the trail Okay, it's a couple days later and hold on, let me see and then I'll explain. Okay, well, so I think the last footage that I shot for you guys was Saturday, like late afternoon, early evening, and the tow truck brought me and my car to Toyota. And when I was talking to, I don't remember if it was the tow truck drivers and or if it was the guy that we ended up talking to at Toyota for a little bit, just one of the sales guy happened to be outside. I don't remember if it was one or both of them, but I was kind of talking about what happened and then in my head I was like, you know what? What if I am just out of gas? Like what if this whole thing was just that I thought I had enough gas and then I just happened to not check it and I just ran out of gas. And so obviously you guys know me well enough, I'm not just gonna leave my car at Toyota for a couple days thinking that, oh, what if the whole time I just needed gas? What if I actually just had an empty tank and I thought that it was filled but it wasn't? And so my car got dropped off and then David, my friend, came to pick me up and then I dropped him back off at the apartment because he had to work, but he let me borrow his car to go get gas in one of those little like things, those little, this, this looks like a teapot, but you know, one of those things. And I brought it back to my car and I filled it up a little bit and my car turned on. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so then I drove David's car back to his apartment and then we both drove together in his car so I could just go pick up my car. And since it started, I just went to the gas station to get some gas and then I drove it back to the apartment and that was two days ago. It's Monday now. It's Monday at like 1.30 in the afternoon now and I didn't check it yesterday. I just was in the apartment all day yesterday. And so I just came down to check it now and the gas tank looks filled. <laughs> Obviously there is still a chance that my fuel pump is out or that my gas tank has a leak or something is going on. There is definitely a chance that something is going on, but I definitely was out of gas. <laughs> you guys, I have never run out. Of, I'm 33 years old. I've been driving since I was like 18 or 19, a, a little late, I know, but I have never in my life run out of gas in my life but it happens and I guess I just didn't glance at my gas tank. Again, it could be something else wrong, but it also could be that I just ran out of gas. So I am not driving anywhere far or anything this week or probably even next week, honestly. I'm probably just staying in the Nashville area and so I'll be able to keep an eye on my car, monitor it, not drive more than you know 20 miles at a time or anything like that. So if I do notice that this goes down or honestly, I have to get oil soon i think actually hold on i'm looking at the thing i think one two eight yeah i have to get oil anyway so i probably just this week will bring it to toyota because i need oil and most time i get oil at jiffy lube but since they're 
might be another issue. I'm just gonna bring it to the dealership. I've always had good service at Jiffy Loop and at the dealership, but obviously the dealership, they might be able to check a little bit more and they're a little bit more knowledgeable on Toyotas, even though Jiffy Lube is always great. But I might just go to Toyota to get my oil change this week and then just be like, hey, I ran out of gas, but I don't know if I actually ran out of gas or not. Can you just check my fuel pump? check my whatever gas tank all that kind of stuff while i'm there but could you guys imagine if this whole thing and i got my car towed just because i ran out of gas but when the roadside assistance guy came i mean the conversation i don't exactly remember the whole thing because i was also a little like i mean you guys know that footage from a couple days ago i was like okay in the beginning but then i started to get overwhelmed after a couple hours like really overwhelmed of just like everything that was going on but I don't remember the whole conversation but I remember telling him like no I I know I just got gas and then he had me try to start my car while he had his like ear up to my gas tank like I opened up my gas tank whatever and he's like yeah I think your fuel pumps out so from what I thought he was checking I thought that he was like yes you did not run out of gas, actually fuel pumps messed up. So, I, but that could have just been my misunderstanding or maybe he was just going by my fact that I was definitely not out of gas when in reality I may have been out of gas. Editing Katie here real quick. And I'm not sure why the roadside assistance person did not suggest, hey, you know what? Just in case, let's just get you some gas. <laughs> like, I don't know if he just blindly trusted me and said that it was something else more serious because I don't think he gets anything from it. Like going to get my car towed or going to Toyota does not benefit him. Those are separate companies. So I'm not sure why he didn't just recommend getting gas just in case that was all it was, but he did say it was my fuel pump. And so I don't know. I mean, I know some people can be wrong, but I do wish and am curious of why he didn't just suggest that I get gas just to see if that was the only problem. But again, it might be more serious than that anyway. So I don't know. Back to regular katie with more information i don't know man what a weird day what a weird time so there's a there's a legit reality that i just ran out of gas and got my car towed for no reason and sat in the heat in 93 degrees for three hours for no reason when i could have just had david or gotten an uber and uh got gas in one of those little i'm a little teapot things and uh and been fine i have no idea but since my car is at 218,000 miles, it might be time for a new fuel pump. It might be, you know, like there might be something else going on. So I'm not 100% sure. I know a lot of you guys are gonna laugh at me because this is a little ridiculous, I understand. It's a good thing that I'm in a city right now and I'm not traveling much for the next few weeks. And so if something does happen, I do know people here and I also have that roadside assistance. Again, I cannot stress enough. I don't even care if you rarely travel. I don't care if you live in a house and you drive once a week, get roadside assistance through your insurance, get AAA, get something, because you just kind of never know. You never know what's gonna happen. This is the second time I've ever had to use them, but still, that's gonna be it for this video. I will update you guys probably on Instagram, but then probably in another vlog in a couple weeks or so. If anything else did happen to my car, I will keep you guys updated, but thank you for watching and hanging out with me, and that's gonna be it. Make sure that you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram for daily updates as well. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.